Hey everybody, Jeff with Covet the Camper. Today I'm up here on the top of this uh, 93 Springdale fifth wheel, replacing the refrigerator vent cover and the refrigerator vent base. Uh, they're original and obviously with uh, all those years of UV damage, they're falling apart. So getting new ones put in, but first we have to remove all this old stuff. So again, I've got my assortment of handy dandy scrapers and I'm getting all of the old uh, Dicor, the self-leveling sealant from all the way around. You can see this cover is uh, completely blown out on one side. The, uh, the cover itself was cracked in several locations, so uh, definitely needs to be replaced. And uh, another thing you gotta watch out for, uh, lots of wasps if you're in an area where you've got uh, you know, <laughs> wasps and stuff. I'm doing an air conditioner vent cover also. Uh, make sure you take precautions there. So I'm going to finish scraping all this self-leveling sealant off. And then there's some hex head screws. Get all those loosened up. And then we can pull this uh, refrigerator vent cover base off of the roof. So when you're scraping this sealant off, I found it easiest to find the edge and just with your scraping tool, just follow that edge without grabbing the roof material. Go along one edge and then catch the edge up against the plastic roof vent. And then once you've done that, you should be able to grab it and uh, and pull it back just like that. So I've got, you know, this whole edge done that way. It goes pretty quick. Also helps to do it when it's 105 degrees outside. All right, now with your quarter inch driver, uh, hex heads on these guys, uh, with your quarter inch uh, drill driver, go ahead and just uh, pop out all these screws and there's a whole ton of them. All right, so once you've got all your screws out, these are all stainless steel screws. Um, get your, one of your putty knives and gently get underneath without, because you gotta make sure you don't tear this uh, roof membrane. Gently get underneath there and just kind of pry it up. So go along, all along the edges and uh, just pry that, uh, that plastic up. All right, so once you've kind of worked your blade around the edge here, you can just kind of pry it up again, making sure that you're not pulling up the rubber roof. All right, so just like anything else, RV, you've got butyl tape as your main seal. Uh, Boy, this thing was really hammered, but butyl tape as your main seal along, you know, the bottom edge of the uh, vent cover. And uh, so we're going to clean up all this old stuff the best that we can and then lay some new butyl tape down or you can use uh, butyl uh, sealant in a tube, you know, caulking. Uh, but just make sure it's butyl and, and not, uh, you know, silicone or anything like that. All right, so once you've got your edge cleaned up, uh, all the excess butyl tape and uh, self-leveling sealant. In this case, this since this is an EPDM rubber roof, they were using self-leveling Dicor. Once you're done with that, go over the edge with, um, you can use mineral spirits very sparingly, uh, but I suggest just using some dish soap and water. Um, just put some in a spray bottle, spray it around there, and then hit it with a rag go over it a couple of times and then we can lay down our new sealant. Okay, so I've got my new stainless steel screws. These are Phillips head screws. I like to use these instead of the hex, uh, quarter inch hex, uh, use the Phillips head screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and start running my, I've already got my bead of sealant all the way around and I'm gonna start running my screws in. And then I'll go over the top with uh, the uh, self-leveling Dicor. 
So one quick tip is start in the center here on both sides. That way you're not uh, bubbling up in the center. Okay, so once we have all of our screws in, you can see that we've got sealant squeezing out all the way around. Now I'll go over with uh, self-leveling die core, starting with the screw heads and then all the way around the edge. All right, so I would plan on at least two tubes of self-leveling sealant. Uh, make sure that you get around the screws first and then go around the lip and then fill in the areas around the uh, sealant bead and the plastic cover. And we're gonna let that flow out a little bit and then we'll put our, our lid on, our new lid. All right, so this lid has both the Norcold and the Dometic locations. So there's an N for Norcold, a D for Dometic. Uh, this, the base uh, mount actually has both also, so it doesn't really matter, but since it's a Dometic fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and mount it in the Dometic holes. So I just run the screws in just a, a little bit just to where they're, they're not even poking through uh, inside that hole and uh, set it on top and I'll run them in. All right, so don't forget to go over the screws with some sealant. Just make sure you get them all sealed. Go over all four of them and that's it, you're done.